today presents an opportunity for us to be candid with you about the challenges facing business. For us to recognize how we as individuals can control our destinies, steer in a fruitful direction, and eliminate preconceived notions. On a daily basis, I am approached by entrepreneurs owning small to medium enterprises with a desire to grow their businesses. And individuals who are purely seeking advice on how to start up a business. Often, those individuals are looking for reassurance that their concept and structure will lead to a thriving businesses. Many times, I advise them, there's no formula becoming successful or owning a successful business entity. I took a risk. I took a risk when I opened up my own business. I heard about immigrants in America who had established businesses and make a lot of money. In my mind, if they could do it, I could do it, and you can too. I've taken a risk of resigning from the prestigious job with a guaranteed income. Open up a business with a little capital and unguaranteed income. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> that it will really, you have to take a risk. So either success, actually all of us have ability becoming successful. Before or after success is achieved, there will be a trials and tribulations that will undoubtedly be faced. Risk. Business is a risk, is a risk that you know. How many of you are willing to take risk every day in order for you to achieve your desired goals? As Ray Kroc, the American businessman, a philanthropist, once said, if you are not a risk taker, you should get the hell out of business. <laughs> Some would say it's harsh, but in the reality is that you will have to take a calculated risk that either lead you to successful or unsuccessful entity. I guess you are thinking that um, it's easy for me to stand before you and ask you to take a risk. I know when we are faced with risk, it can instill fear and doubt in our minds. Fear of failure, fear of risk, fear of time running out, fear that we are not capable of doing or achieving what we deserve for. Fear can limit or clip your mind, can limit your growth. Can fear be controlled? Of course it can. Dealing with fear is better than hiding from fear. Do not let fear consume, your, consume you or dictate how you live your life. Can fear be controlled? 
course, it can. As Williams Merriams, the American author, a teacher, a lecturer, once said, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond our measures. If we liberate our, or ourselves from own fear, your presence automatically will liberate the others. Let this be your mantra whenever you feel afraid. And business, fear is like a cancer. It will eat you away at you. It will make you indecisive. Please take a note. Nobody wants to work with an indecisive person because they are clearly not willing to take a calculated risk. I have held and I still hold a chairperson, a position of chairperson of various boards. A position of trust. A position fear cannot be present. Because if fear present, it shows ugly head and it will make you compromise your ethics and it will make you scared to call a spider the spy. Or squash any personal agendas brought before the board. Thus, aspiring to be a leader of a corporation. That required business acumen, unwavering ethics, confidence and ability to perform, and courage. Always to take the right things or to do the right things, and to take a risk at the right time. <coughs> Here in Namibia, it appears we have FOMO. FOMO is missing, fear of missing out. With, with it is a risk, avoidance of tendency, because have you noticed that? If one person open up a clothing boutique, salon, restaurant, and it does relatively well, you will see another hundred people who are copying exactly the same concept. Why is this? In order for you to set up your own business apart from the next business, that will require originality mixing with passion and dedication. Duplication, business idea does not always guarantee success. Do not let fear deter you following your passion or building a, a, a company that you are dreaming of. Or taking a job opportunity that you know it might not offer you the remuneration you want, but it will offer you the opportunity that money cannot buy. I have taken risk, eliminate fear. Two things we all have control over, by showing of hands. How many of you think you can attain success without failure? <laughs> Today, it would appear more and more people think Success happen overnight. Perhaps it stems from multiple reality TV shows that we all exposed to. 
and wish to replicate. But nothing in life worth having comes that easy. You will fail maybe once, maybe twice. Like Michael Jordan, he might fail, miss the multiple shots once, maybe once, over and over before he becomes successful. Failure should not discourage you. It should drive you to continue to achieve your goals. If I had let failure consume me, I would never have taken an accounting at the university. Because we were made, growing, because growing up at the apartheid era, we were made to believe that accounting, business, law, or becoming a doctor were the career of white people were able to do. When I went to the university, I took a late leap of faith in law and business administration, majoring in finance. After taking my first test in accounting, I have, because I thought probably, maybe it's true, black people are not capable of excelling in the finance. Only because I received a zero grade in my first test in accounting. <laughs> After crying, and a few of my peers asking why I was crying, I learned that the zero grade I have received with a smiley sticker next to it <laughs> actually meant I had passed with a zero mistake. In fact, it was not my teacher mocking me. After the affirmation from my teacher that I had passed with a zero mistake, it not only gave me a courage to work hard, it taught me no matter how many times I've been told. Actually, it taught me as long as I put my all in something, no matter I'm told, I'll fail. I will ensure that I will fight through all the obstacles until I succeed. You know the funny things about failure? When you fail, you will hear a lot of people say, I told you so. <laughs> if you have done this way or that way, rest assured, you shall hear a lot of commentary which say, if you are not careful, it can put a dent in your self-confidence and leave you questioning your ability to perform. You should not unsolicited the ideas from those people who especially speciality in criticize. Because whenever you, you fail, acknowledge your failure. Get up. Dust yourself off. Hold your head high and continue to work to go for your, fall, for, for your goals. For. If you had every time you fail, you are doing injustice yourself. Whether you're happy or sad, always get up. Dress us if you have made it. <laughs> and always show up. Finally, I urge you to make a decision today and you will put in the work to realize your dream. 
Thereafter, I want you to commit your decision. And no matter what it takes, make sure that you work hard to your dream, to make sure that your dream is become a dream of reality. If you put in work or in time, hard work, and you have your true passion for what you do, coupled with perseverance, then the world will be your oyster. And make sure that you will be able to achieve all you set your mind on. Thank you.